G'day guys, welcome back. Do you remember these 3D Bloom coasters that I did the other day? And I had the little pink diamante things in there and then when I poured the resin on, the, the colour just vanished. Like, I don't mind if the actual, you know, diamante, diamante look vanished, but the colour vanished. So we've got these little mirrors looking back at us. <laughs> so I thought um, I'd do a twofold video today, showing you how to maybe fix the centre and also how to top coat um, a coaster or anything really, because a lot of people still struggle with like blotches, patches, things like that, where the resin's not covering properly. So I thought I'd and I've shown you before, but I'll just do a video on how to do it. If you can, use a coating resin because it's thicker to start with. This is the Platinum Art Coat. So as the name suggests, it coats your art. You don't have to use it for um, paintings. You can use it for resin pieces. Or you can use it for paintings, whatever you want to. So I'm going to use that. I've mixed up way too much. <laughs> now, I've got these. Um, because the little petals are peach, and I've got this one here. It's called Peach Bellini. It's really pretty. Um, and I got that from uh, Crafts Online. Craft Online, which is only like 10 minutes from me, <laughs> but I bought it online. So it's really pretty. It's got peach and pink and some gold in there. So I'm going to edge them with gold this time. So we're scrapping the silver idea. We're going peach, white and gold. So here we go. Um, I've got some of the glitter in there and we'll just add a little bit of resin just to make a paste. Like so. You can see how it's got that sort of pinky, peachy sort of a colour to it now that it's wet with the, the gold sparkle as well. So that's it there. I just want to make a nice thick paste so that hopefully the glitter doesn't spread too far. All right, here we go. So make sure your coasters are nice and clean. I've just popped them up on a little plastic cup just to get them up off the table. And we'll just pop a little blob on each for now and let it settle. Now I like using the little palette knives because it's just easy. You can hold it like this and still go flat. You can just use a pop stick or silicone brush or you know whatever you want to use but I don't know I just find it easy with this. So all you need to do is basically start in the middle and just bring that over the edge like that okay you're going over the edge. You need to kind of you need to touch the edge. Make sure this hand doesn't <laughs> knock over anything else. Basically, you're going over the edges there. The resin's pretty thick and it wants to kind of cling to the edge, so it, it doesn't tend to go over the edge. I mean, if you wanted to, if you want to go over the edge, you could, uh, you know, put some tape or um, glue or silicone stuff or whatever on the bottom and then you can just peel it off. But I don't want to do the sides, I just want to do the tops. So basically just takes a little time, make sure you just go right over the edge. If you don't touch your tool to the actual edge, um, it might sort of pull back a little bit. But if, if you touch the tool to the edge, it kind of anchors that bit of resin to the edge, I find. Um, I still may need to put more resin on. Like if you find that it is pulling back from the sides a little bit, that means that you still need to put a little bit more on because you need to have a nice thick amount so that it domes, the edges will kind of be curved on, this, on the edges. So I just start with that, a thin covering, and then I'll go back and put a little bit more on if needed. Just kind of spreading it first and then I'll make sure I've touched the edges on all of them. And then I'll go back and put my glitter in the center. I don't want to do it now because it'll probably just spread as I'm pulling the resin from the center. The glitter will probably just all spread, so I'd rather do it at the end. And then I know I'm stopped, you know, I've stopped fiddling and pulling the resin around, so it should just hopefully stay. 
and uh, you know if your mold is getting a little bit old and it's lost its shine when you turn these out this is a good thing that you can do as well just to get that shine back again because they do lose their shine after a while depends on the type of silicone um, how much you use it what you put in it whether you heat it like there's lots of factors that will determine how long you know your mold will will last but they don't last forever right we're out to the edge so it's not difficult to do and I haven't had any drips yet <laughs> it hasn't fallen down the edges yet it's pretty much staying where it is all right now let's pop that down now can you see over here how it's just sort of pulled away a little bit on the edge there that means I need some more I'll bring you down so that you can see what I mean because I need to just put a little oops gloves in the way I need to just put a little blob on each so you see there how it hasn't caught the edge yet needs a little bit more all right so we'll do that pop you back up not getting caustic are you being moved around all the time <laughs> All right, so let's pop another little bit on. And you don't know exactly how much you're going to need until you get started. But, you know, the last thing you want to do is put too much on and then it just all runs over the edge. So just go slow. So now it's just a matter of, of doing that again, touching the edges there. If a little bit wants to go over, you can just wipe it off. And that's basically all you do until you've got enough resin on there that it's giving a nice smooth level coat and it's going over all your or going to all your little edges there you'll find it takes quite a lot more than what you would expect it's just dripped it mustn't be it mustn't be level I normally use them the other way around just because they're more stable that way but um it's wider on the other side. All right, so now that that's done, you can give it a quick torch. You don't have to worry about torching because you don't have a silicon mold there to torch. So you can give it a quick torch and get rid of those bubbles. I'm going to put another little blob on each of them. Make sure that they have all got enough. Now, do be careful. Make sure that your table is totally level. Otherwise, your resin's just going to run straight off. But uh, yeah, you'll be surprised how much resin these actually take because it, it's going to have like about a two mil covering and then want to go over the edges as well. So just keep going. I'm going to keep going with this. And once I've got it all nice and leveled and enough resin there, I'll come back to you and we'll do the centers. Right, so that's done. It's not totally finished yet. Um, I'll keep sort of pushing it to the edges uh, once the resin starts to thicken a little bit more I did end up putting too much on <laughs> and it kind of I did have a few drips so I've put some plastic down to protect my table right now this is still nice and thick I'm not actually sure what the work time is on this resin I'll, I'll have to look into it so just a little dob because it'll spread and we don't want it to take over too much do we we just want a little bit in the middle there and the good thing about this is too, you, if you've not quite got your center in the center, you can fix that with this second coat. You can just move it around a bit and uh, put your center where you want it to be. And there you go. Look at that. Just like I bought one. <laughs> so yeah, don't uh, probably don't put too much in there because it'll spread a little bit. But you can see now what I mean about putting it on later um, rather than having it spread you know too much with you pulling the resin but um, I'll just keep going it's I don't want to put any more on um, but as the resin starts to sort of thicken you can just push it towards the edges a little bit more if, if your resin's not really thick you can just wait till it's thickened and then do this um, but yeah just keep checking on it every sort of five minutes or so make sure there's nothing flown into it I had a, um, a fly fly into my silicone the other day 
Uh, so just keep checking, make sure nothing's flown into it or you've got a hair or something or any drips. And um, basically that's, that's all you do. Uh, you can torch it, but just be careful when you're torching it. Um, it will make the resin thin again and it'll want to, you know, drip. So I can see a little drip there. My table mustn't be terribly level because it's dripping down this way. <laughs> I'll have to check that. Anyway, I will come back to you once these have cured, but that looks a million times better now, I think without that silver center. And then once they're set, um, we'll go around with the gold pen and finish them off. So I will see you then. Right, so it's the next day. They are dried, domed beautifully. Actually, I shouldn't probably <laughs> push too hard. <laughs> they might leave fingerprints. Um, yep, yeah, so looking really pretty, loving the gold and peach glitter. And now it's time to paint the edges. Oh gosh, this is a new one. Look at that. It's a new one. It's still got a white tip on it, which means we have to push down. If you haven't already used these, you have to push down, push down, push down until you start getting that color coming through and then the nibble change color. Look at that. Oh, isn't it nice having a brand new, nice and square edge? pen. <laughs> Is it focusing? I can't see. All right, here we go. I'm just going to do them down here. Hopefully I'll be able to do this. I'll just, actually I'll do the one that's got the silver edge because this is the one that I, I painted with silver the other day and we don't want the silver so we're just going to go over the top. Actually it's probably something I need to do holding, holding it. Oh gosh. I wasn't planning on making it so wide, but anyway, it is what it is. I wanted a thin little gold strip. It's because it's domed, you see, now, right? Like, normally, well, normally, when um, you do a, a resin pour, you've got a, a sharp edge. But because I've domed it now, it's curved, and I'm going, oh, where's my sharp edge to follow? But that's okay. Now, I just have to be careful not to touch the wet gold paint. This gold is just amazing. Look at it. Can you see how shiny and shimmery that is? <laughs> the pen keeps running off the edge. I'm sure it would be easier to do if I was actually holding it up to myself rather than trying to do it down here, but then you won't be able to see if I hold it up to myself. So I'll just keep going round oops now see I'm getting it on myself if there's a section like if you make a mistake if you wipe it off straight away it'll probably come off but if you leave it on any longer than that you're going to have to use acetone like nail polish remover because it's really strong stuff you can't just wipe it with alcohol to get it off so just take your time, try not to make a mistake, and then you'll be fine. I need to cover up the silver, you see, down below. Oh, it's looking so pretty. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've learnt something about doming. There's that one. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It looks so pretty. I'm going to do the others um, and then I'll come in for a close-up for you.
So there we go. I must say it's much harder to do it when I can't get my head over the top um, because when I stopped videoing and I did one, I got my head right over the top so I could see what I was doing. But when I did this one, I couldn't do that. Otherwise, all you'd see is the back of my, my head. So I struggled a little bit more with that one. But, oh my gosh, you guys, they are divine. I'm so happy I decided to to change it up and, and do the top coat. With the gold edge and the peachy gold glitter. Look at that. So I guess it's just a little quick video, maybe not so quick, but just to show you that even though maybe you're not so happy with your your resin pieces, your coasters, there is a way of saving them. Now if you particularly wanted to, you could go in and paint all the side edges with your gold as well. Um, I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to see what would what it would look like, like that with the with the edge. Um, and sometimes it's nice to you know be able to see through. You could also use the other side if you particularly wanted to, but no. Um, but yeah, you you could um, paint the whole side as well. Might just give you a slightly different look because you're not getting any light in through the sides. But there you go. Now let's see if I can let's see if I can pick up the the top coat. It's a bit tricky with all the ring lights and things. I get a very get a, a big reflection happening. How's that? You can't see there. Hopefully you can see the top and, and the doming. It's a bit difficult to see. Uh, I'm no professional videographer. I try my best. But um, yeah, that's the top coats. Turned out beautifully. I'm really, really happy with them. All right, let me know what you think of them. If you love them as much as I do, I certainly love them more now than I did before. And I love that gold edging. It is just super shiny and gorgeous. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, again, I will see you for the next video. Take care. Love you all. Bye for now.